Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. Smith. He's got his big tight end, Fant. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Oh, they'll get this to Metcalf on the jet sweep. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Smith, rolling to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Noah Fant, 62 yards. And the Seahawks march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Panthers now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That would complete downfield to Thomas. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Mayfield now. And this one is incomplete. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Mayfield. There's Tremble, the tight end. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 12-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing, Mayfield forced out to his left. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep a defense honest. You mean, or else they just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Mayfield looks to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own two-yard line. A turnover is obviously Charles always costly, but man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end, and I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goal post here, first and ten. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. We talk about setting a tone or beginning a drive. That run was absolutely textbook. <laughs> I'm telling you, partner, now, they're not just thinking about an easy drive. They're thinking about maybe taking it downfield. Yeah, started at their two. Now they've got a heavy amount of breathing room. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Throw out wide to Walker. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. But it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Come on, come on. Four yards. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Gino out of throw. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. On the move past the 40. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. It's a big play there for Seattle. 43 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. That's a jet sweep into the hands of Metcalf. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards left on second down from the nine. They'll give it up to the big man, Walker. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the ladder there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. 
They'll sneak it with Smith. And this time he breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Geno Smith scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Seahawks go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Jason Myers can kick off for Seattle. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Mayfield. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that is incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Hey, water alert, water alert. On second down, McCaffrey. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Mayfield to throw it. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 37. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, Mayfield. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Mayfield from the gun on third down. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Hurry, hurry! Mayfield to throw for it on fourth. Open man is Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Robbie Anderson, 30 yards. And the Panthers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On first down, it's Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards that time for number 14. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he's got it inside the ten. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Back to throw, Smith. Caught on the slant. Touchdown, Seahawks. DK Metcalf as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 21-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. First down, Mayfield. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Final play of the half, Mayfield. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
two yards the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great okay. penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Walker. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's been continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Walker now on first and ten. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. Oh, they'll get this to Metcalf on the jet sweep. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Hand off here to Walker. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Oh, they'll try the sweep. It's Lockett with it. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyler Lockett. Taking it in from the 20. And the Seahawks take a three touchdown lead. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing again on second and ten. Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Mayfield on first down. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. He's got room at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked off by Justin Coleman. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. This Carolina hey, offense hey, at hey. the line, ready to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear. Second and nine, Mayfield. Uh, he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Quinn. 